Greetings ladies and gentlemen, today we will be learning about a very cool feature in Inkscape and it's about clip groups. It's about putting things within another object. So um, this is a design I've already made in Inkscape using this clip group feature in Inkscape. So um, let's make something similar to this. Go over to file and create a new document if you already do not have one. Okay, so we have a new document blank one as it says I'm using Inkscape version 1.0.1 .1. it may look different from yours if you do not have this particular version so um if there is if there are some differences you might have to upgrade to this version okay then go over to objects and click on objects okay then this objects box dialog box it gives you a description of of it gives you like um an overview of all the objects you have on your drawing and all the layers you have on your drawing okay let's create uh an ellipse okay i'm just gonna hold control and create a circle with the ellipse tool okay then with that done let's drag this down for a better view we have a layer as it is a layer and then we have a path this circle is calling it a part 4318 okay um i'm not trying to get too technical but we have a circle as it is here and it's inside a layer let's call this circle okay then we have a circle in a layer then let's call this layer our drawing board okay not everyone likes naming their layers but for easy understanding let's name our layer shall we we have a circle in a layer called drawing board so this circle let's convert it into a clip group right click on the circle okay and go to create clip group this turns this object into a clip group as you can see the name changes is now something else it contains some other things it, it has a circle as a base as a clip used for clipping other objects and its group name has changed this is the name of the group okay this let's go just use the move tool this is the group and its name is g4323 okay not to get technical let's call it um clip group okay now let's put some other objects inside this clip group but before that let's let's see how it works let's see what happens if we draw some objects just start drawing some objects let's make this a different color or oh, okay let's make this let's make um another object maybe a pentagon let's make that green okay we have um two objects these ones are not inside the clip group so they would still be beyond the boundary of the circle so let's do it this way right click on this on one of these objects you want to put inside the clip group and cut it so we have just cut it then let's click on our clip group and right click on it go to enter group g4323 okay you are now entering this group what happens is that we are going to paste that object we cut so click on press ctrl alt v on your keyboard that will give that will paste the objects you just cut inside the clip group so if you move it around it's within the boundary of the circle let's do the same for this one click on your star cut it click on your clip group right click on it enter the group then control shift control alt v would paste it within your clip group now notice something down here we have um, our drawing board, our layer, and we have the clip group. This drop down menu here shows the current layer and the current group you're into, you're working on. So currently we are inside our clip group. Any further objects we create from here would appear within our clip group. So imagine if we are drawing a shape, um, as you can see, it's beyond the corner, the border of our circle. But it would still remain within the circle if we fill that with yellow 
it will still remain within the boundary of yellow okay let's let's return to our drawing board so now we are outside our drawing board so if you notice something else it's that if you can if you draw something else it would not be inside the group inside the clip group but it will be on your drawing board on your layer so there are two ways to do this okay if you click on your object and you right click on it and go to enter group that your clip group and you draw anything at all it would stay within that clip group okay so you have a clip group that contains other things okay now um let's try and make something cool with this clip group maybe some examples would will make this simpler for those who haven't gotten a hang of it yet let's create a star this time and let's that star is a bit brownish and let's convert this into a clip group create clip group so this time no rena renaming so after you've created turned it into a clip group right click on it and it again and enter the group now you've entered the group you're getting into the group like the facebook group in order to interact with the things inside the group so you have just entered into the star group so let's create something within the star if we i'm drawing a star number you're still going to show because it's the same color let's change the color the color is now kind of reddish let's reduce the size it's a pentagon let's reduce the size and see what it looks like this is within the star group the clip group whatever we whatever changes we make to this it's still going to remain within the clip group if we blur this object for example so if you went to the, to this and adjusted the slider it's going to blur it but it's not going to go outside your clip group outside the star beyond that star so how wherever it is wherever it is it's still going to be inside the clip group you can actually create some really cool stuff with this it's a way to work fast instead of having to crop every single object you want to put in this star so let's let's try and make this star look cool shall we so we we are inside the clip group as you can see it's it's, no, it's not a layer we are working on we are working with a group hence the g4374 okay let's let's create something within this i'm just going to use my um bizarre curves tool and create a shape around this let's just work with our imagination okay if we created this okay we have a shape but just this part is showing let's change the field to i'm going to press ctrl shift f on my keyboard to bring up the fill and stroke menu then let's make that fill speak this color speak colors from image let's make it the same color of brownish yellow let's increase the lighting up a bit and let's remove the stroke paint from the border all right then let's make another shape still with our bizarre curves tool and let's the same feel but uh, a little darker let's make it darker so reduce the light the L reduce the light a little remove the border all right now let's let's give it a bit of a gradient so i'm gonna hit g on my keyboard or go to the gradient tool and let's give it a gradient over here and then the same thing for this let's give it a gradient over maybe downwards over here cool so we have a star imagine duplicating this round the entire place that would give you a cool feel all right i was i promised that we would be making something similar to this at the beginning of the video so let's let's get to it we're going to be creating something similar to this so uh let me just look at it again all right let's get started first of all we create an ellipse let's just move to this empty region of our drawing board and let's make the feel Mm. 
okay we're still inside our group let's return to our layer drawing board let's create a circle you see the circle was drawn here and it did not show where it was drawn because it was still within the restriction of the star so i returned to my drawing board you know the original layer we, we were working on and it's now showing okay that is something you've learned okay then we have a circle let's make that purple purple circle bit of saturation cool now let's convert it into a clip group so create clip group right click on it again then enter group now let's create a star we have a star now it's the same color so it won't show let's make it darker okay actually that wasn't a star it's a pentagon let's okay let's keep that here now let's create another star let's make that um, a little lighter now let's create a rectangle a rectangle and let's make that uh, a little bit reddish or yellowish cool and let's make an ellipse another one let's pick the color of the original one and let's make that uh, a bit brighter let's move it down a little even within the clip group you, you still have arrangements what comes over the other and what goes beneath okay let's give this a gradient from that to transparent it gives it a cool feel then let's create let's make this round edged the edges of this round let's create another rectangle let's make that um a lot more reddish let's give that a gradient cool and we have a couple of objects around here let's go ahead and make another circle let's make that white and let's give it a gradient and let's reduce the opacity of Let's reduce the opacity of this object. I'm going to adjust this gradient a little. Just going to duplicate that Ctrl D on your keyboard. We have that. Cool. Let's give this a gradient as well. Note every single thing we are doing here has its boundary within the clip group. Then let's create a final circle down here. Let's make that bright. Let's blur it up a little. So right now we have kind of a ball. Cool. I'm going to make this these um design files available for download. So you could download just what I'm work working on, and you can make some changes to it and see what I was. I was doing the unit to zero clip groups they help you to work on a design you know without having to stress yourself so much you know to put things inside of other objects clip group is a very very important feature especially if you want to work with complex designs you know take your design skills to the next level Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you liked it and I would encourage you to subscribe for more tutorials on in the future. You know, turn on the notification bell to get more to get more updates on this channel. Thank you very much for watching.